Hello, hello everybody, it's Rob Profchoff, and we're back again with a new video by Casual Geographic. Why the world without sharks might be your biggest nightmare. I... Okay, why? What do sharks do? I went swimming with sharks to see them in person. Damn. Instead, almost saw Steve Irwin. Shout out to the goat. <laughs> that aside, Close I'm gonna that. make you like sharks in this video. But before things get better, first they gotta get worse. So Listen, bro, I don't... Personally, I want those dudes. I don't hate sharks. I don't hate anything in the ocean. I just prefer to stay away from the ocean. Okay, it's big, it's unknown, and everything there might kill you. Or you might drown. I don't swim too well, okay? I'm a big-ass motherfucker. The last of phobics warning, here's yeah, the part where it hurts. What are we looking at? What are we looking at, brother? The hell is that? Cthulhu? Honest question. Has there ever been a horror movie about jellyfish? It's not jellyfish? like the site didn't flush a metric sh ton of source material. You're looking at, they but ironically, stink. one of the worst sites in nature. A jellyfish bloom. It's a problem for bloom? many reasons. One, it's basically a bath bomb from Shaitan, but also because it's one of the last signs the ocean gives before it hits the point of no return. Oh, when a part shit. of Neptune's neighborhood falls apart and can't support the animals in it. The last step usually involves getting gentrified by jellyfish, since the huh. same conditions that are unlivable for most are usually where Satan shopping bags thrive. And don't think because you're on land you're safe. Not only have these blooms caused legit power outs, but about half of the oxygen on Earth. Power outs? Earth comes from the same phytoplankton these blooms eat. So why Bam. am I talking about jellyfish in a video that was supposed to be about sharks? Yeah, why? Well, they are scared of one... I assume sharks kill jellyfish and that's why we need sharks to be able to put down the jellyfish. You should probably thank the other. Sharks are the ocean equalizer, keeping other animals in line from their... Okay, what about rockets though? Like, hear me out. Rockets go boom. Jellyfish near rocket go boom boom. Hmm? I don't know. First spot at the top of the food web. N near the top. We're getting to that. So basically, sharks eat the big fish that would eat the little fish that would eat the jellyfish polyps. The ocean is a Jenga tower, and sharks uh -huh. are the one block that can but bring it all Nature down. is like that. Now, it's not as simple as I just made it sound, where no sharks automatically means more ocean acne, but you really don't realize how fast the sea would fold without sharks. That is until you realize what their actual day looks like. Sharks okay. aren't just the equalizer, they're the cleanup crew, mostly going around picking off the dead and dying. You won't Bro. see them chasing around. Imagine just finding a gigantic dead buffet, but like actually delicious in the street while you're going to work. That's what I have. What that's what happened to that shark. Around small fry that probably Crazy. aren't even worth it. The same way you probably wouldn't drive 45 minutes shark. for a bag of chips. I hope. It's why. If you want to check your ego, swim in a shiver of sharks and walk. No. No, 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 that, that is, I'm never doing that in my life. Okay, I can promise you that. Watch how hard you get ignored like J-Lo in the Bronx. No, no, no. I was surrounded by Galapagos sharks, and the closest I got to becoming a hashtag was the ocean slamming me against the bar. Yeah, why are you in the cage then, brother? If you're not afraid, why are you in the cage, huh? I owed it something. It was like yeah. an MMA cage match with Mother Nature that got way too personal. I wonder why. But yeah, the sharks could not care less about me. They really do treat you like an NPC. I did learn that because sharks can detect electromagnetic fields, if you stick a GoPro deep enough, you can say you booped a shark. Just Aww. know, that was the most action I got all day. And if more cute. people realized how often they get snubbed by sharks, even when they're right under us, you'd realize why you're statistically more likely to get flattened by a vending machine, KO'd by a coconut, or even past tense while putting socks on, then get mugged by a shark. It usually takes bad orange. Die while putting on socks? What the, the hell happened there? The silhouette of a seal. But why are sharks so scary? Actually, why the big eyes? Easy. It's a oh, you look cute, brother. Kawaii. Perma teeth, but honestly, I think it's deeper than that. Sharks, snakes, and spiders. These are the arguably three most feared animals on Earth, right. and it's likely okay. because we're. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know why people fear spiders. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw a statistic. I'm not sure too sure how strong that's how true that statistic is. That there is no spider that can actually murder a human being. Plus, they're not that creepy. Snakes, I guess, especially the bigger ones or the poisonous, they can kill your ass. But spiders, I like spiders. Spiders are kind of cute. Afraid of them. Snakes are legless, cold-blooded reptiles that even monkeys will throw stones at. <laughs> On the other end, spiders have too many eyes, too many legs, and show up okay, too that many big ass spider can stay away. to ever get good graces. <laughs> Meanwhile, sharks might just represent Why the fear you of the that? unknown. The ocean is an endless, uncaring void that could wipe you out in seconds with nothing you can yes. do about it. And projection's a hell of a drug since that inside Holy. fear often gets put on the apex predators of that void. But that's Okay, that, that shark looked in bread as fuck. The problem right there, you hear there? sharks and instantly think of another Jaws movie. So maybe you should see the sharks that don't make the big screen. Mm -hmm. 
This is a zebra shark. Aww. It's a cinnamon roll of a fish that is somehow less of a threat than the trauma donkey it's named after. The zebra shark is the beginning of sharks it's getting the cute. sea dog allegations, and arguably the most dangerous thing about Bro. them is their front face. If nature wanted me to take the thresher shark seriously, they shouldn't have given them such an unserious pair of eyes. <laughs> yeah. It does not matter what the situation is, threshers will always look like they really need an adult. Now they do kill prey by delivering soul evicting slaps with that tail, but they look at them. He's just, just a baby. baby. I'm sure there's a lot of cool stuff about the salmon shark, but honestly, all I can think salmon of is that there's shark? a baby Looney Tunes G-rated version of Great Whites. The epaulet is a shark with no regard for the laws of nature, using special fins to literally walk on land. And when sharks huh? wake up with student loans, taxes, and only two weeks vacation, it's all gonna get traced back to him. This is a spinner shark, and even though it's hunting, I can't not laugh at how unserious this is. The nervous shark is literally named the after nervous how terrified shark. they are of anything human. And whale sharks are unbelievably wholesome for a plus-size oh, yeah, fish ones. with teeth in its eyes. They're Speaking cute. of whale sharks, you got other plus-size filter feeders, like the basking shark. They're about 30 feet long, the second biggest Damn. shark, and they're really only a threat to your mental health. Especially since <laughs> a lot of plesiosaur panic can get traced back to a dead basky. Then there's a the mega mouth shark, which honestly probably would be scary if you didn't know the mega mouth. No, it's also a giant krill eating pushover that lives in the forgotten corners of the Yosha. Hello. Then you got the sharks you Hello. forget are sharks. Imagine you're at the shore and someone screams shark, whole time they're pressing hey, for a tassel. Why they want anime shark have one? Why right titty bigger than left titty shark? Explain that shit. Time they're yeah? over a tasseled wobble What's up dog, there? A type of carpet shark that takes the name literally oh, wow. by living its life as a homicidal rug. Here you have the smallest shark Yo, in the, the world, the land shark. There's a sawfish that. Uh, oh, really? Okay, yeah. Well, apparently, it's not actually a shark. It's a ray related to a shark. But oh, it's not. Because this is an actual saw shark. Because you know the riddle at this point is conducive to the same trace as convergent evolution. And you can't forget nurse sharks being so unproblematic and curious around people. Scientists called it the Labrador of the Sea. The and Labrador of the did, Sea. Now we get to go down the rabbit hole of sharks being dogs and cats at the same time. The poor beagle okay. is a shark named after a porpoise and a beagle. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either, but we'll get back to that. What's Dog special about it? named after fishermen apparently watching them chase smaller prey in packs, like dogs. Oh, Some dog that's fish cool. are also cat sharks, and they got their name from the vertical feline-coated eyes. Okay. Like the small spotted Makes cat sense. shark is also at the same time called the lesser spotted dogfish. Google says there's over 150 species of cat sharks, including Damn. the chain cat shark. Or chain Bro, looking like a rare Pokemon. Dogfish, because of course. Their biggest flex is they can glow green through biofluorescence. Oh. And they're not the only ones. It turns out over 50 How species of them? sharks like kite fin and swell sharks can light up. That's about 10% of all sharks, and some actually use a light to hide. That might sound confusing, but if you're a predator in the crotch of the ocean, all you have to do is look up, and anything that looks like a shadow against the light of the sky is probably your next victim. However, if you can take a cue from a lightsaber, you can blend into the skylight and basically disappear. Oh, in fact, countershading is a smart. concept most sharks borrow from, and it basically means if you're above them, then the darker roof blends into the dark of the abyss, but if you're under them, the light underbelly matches the sunlight hitting the water. And when you think about it, a Damn, lot of nature. animals use this strat to avoid problems. Yeah. But some take it a step further, because scalloped hammerheads are scientifically scalloped proven hammer to heads. tan themselves if they sit in shallow, sun-exposed water. Bruh. Some say recruiting melanin is nature's way of keeping them from getting eaten by their own kind, by making it easier oh. for the smaller babies to hide. We got a little oh, damn. I don't apologize for it, but the point is, if you're still afraid of sharks, then maybe you should subvert your expectations. Listen, as I said, afraid of the ocean, not the sharks. Sharks, big sharks, scary. Ocean? Fucking terrifying, brother. I'm pretty sure I drown faster than a shark can eat my ass. Especially since some sharks aren't even full-time predators. The bonnet head shark is like a hammerhead with performance anxiety. It's also an omnivore that eats seagrass <laughs> in an experiment. 60% of its diet included the green stuff. Oh, sharks shit. are also partly grass-fueled, and a study from Forbes found that half of what goes through them are plants like algae and sargassum. Okay, what? so maybe you're still afraid of sharks. That's crazy. Maybe it'd help if you knew what our sharks are afraid of. I don't know why I thought what... But I just thought that 100% of what sharks eat is just meat, meat, meat. There's only it's one thing that crazy. can send the Star of Jaws packing, and you already know it's orcas. Killer whales are known to mutilate great whites for their livers, yep. and often that's all they take. The sharks have been so beaten down that Monterey Bay scientists found that great whites off Fairlawn Islands will abandon their favorite hunting grounds for up to a year if they run into the assault cetacean once. Jesus. Researchers have even started playing the sounds of orcas on loop to keep sharks away from beaches. And imagine Bro. finding your own business in a hairless iPhone. <laughs> Inducing PTSD in sharks, that's fucked up nature. Humans actually. I wouldn't call it fear, but both dolphins and sea lions have been known to bully great whites by abusing the always sea lions superior as well. power of friendship. 
Okay. Get him up, let him get up, let now I just feel bad for them. Bull sharks are honestly the closest thing to the Damn. stereotype, and they have about the highest testosterone levels of any animal. Yeah, even more than a down bad elephant. Anabolic? And even the bull shark has fears, and its biggest are crocs. They often frequent the same waters, and the rape. A crocodile can bully a shark? Really? Jaholic of sharks gets a severe no. attitude adjustment. Just no, don't get me twisted. A dead bull shark can give a croc pounds. A crocs will prey on baby bulls enough to make the sharks avoid them. Ah, okay, okay. They've also gotten enough. sent packing by hippos. But by far, the strangest thing sharks are afraid of. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. There is a very real rabbit hole of the, the most notorious that? underwater predators getting pressed by some bubbles, with hammerheads and tiger sharks reportedly really uncomfortable Why? with the bubbles from scuba tanks, and scientists even working on making bubble curtains to use as a type of bug spray, but for sharks. Which was funny until I realized dolphins probably just have them that messed oh, up. If you shit, to brother, what is that? That dolphin's in your hood currently. Dolphins probably Look just at you. that messed up. Nice. If you want the definition of irony, it's spending 400 million plus years predator maxing just to get stressed by a SpongeBob Bubbles. scene transition. So play some orca <laughs> opera and you'll keep sharks away, but the wrong playlist and you might just bring sharks to you. Sharks are attracted to heavy death metal music because apparently huh? the vibrations and beats sound just like struggling or injured fish. Remember, Damn. sharks are like the morgue of the sea and dive operators like Matt Waller will use music as a Batman symbol to attract sharks. Their favorites? According to him, ACDC, You Shook Me All Night Long, <laughs> And back in black are the best at getting their Damn. attention. So good. are certain colors, because for a while. So sharks have good taste in music. What the hell? It was widely believed that the single Holy worst color to wear if you're afraid of sharks is yellow. Matter of fact, it was nicknamed Yum Yum Yellow for how Ooh. wearing it could turn you into a literal snack. The truth yellow. is, sharks are likely colorblind, with only one color cone in their eye to R3, meaning they see the world in black, white, and shades of gray. Mm. Now what they can see is contrast, and anything that stands out against the ocean oh, so blue bright. immediately gets their attention, the more you know. Now let me ask you a question. You think sharks get silly? Like, like you think in 400 million years of being alive they figured out how to have fun? Well, remember the poor well I didn't think most animals did shit like this, but then I found out about dolphins and other smarter animals doing crazy shit. And I thought octopuses can get depressed if they are not stimulated enough, so I assume sharks have stuff like this as well. Yeah, did you know a thing about octopus? Yeah, it's crazy. Eagle. Scientists peeped that the shark named after a dog will roll around in kelp, toss it around like a football, and even take huh. turns chasing each other. Gray reef sharks sink if they don't Cute. swim, so they'll often swim against current updrafts in order to surf and basically take a break from the whole just keep swimming thing. But what's crazy is they have a conveyor belt system where once one shark reaches the end of the line, it'll let the current carry it back to where it started. You could say it's just them saving energy, but is that not the same energy as this? Sharks have been fighting stereotypes like a boxing match for years, and the closest thing to an uppercut they got is the fact that Let's sharks have friends. Adorable. In 2023, researchers huh? found that two great whites, Simon and Jekyll, had traveled more than 4,000 miles Aww. together after being first tagged off the coast of Georgia in 2022, eventually ending up in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, just off New Brunswick, Canada. It shows you how little we know about them, because a couple years ago, nobody would believe the final boss of sharks was down for a travel buddy. Shark scientist Yanis Papastamachi you linked up with researchers from the University of Hawaii, Exeter, and UC. Bro, homie looks like he's done with our shit for like the last 30 years. Look Santa at his face. Barbara, to study reef sharks in a Palmyra atoll to uncover the secret social circle of sharks. What they found was that these sharks have a literal social circle, with the same sharks hanging out together in the morning, separating and going about their business during the day, only to meet up again later. These Damn. shark groups even use the same part of the reef like day us. after day like a high school lunch table, and these friend groups lasted the entire four year study. And it's not just reef sharks. Do they bully other sharks? By night, nurse sharks hunt alone, but during the day, they join cuddle parties of up to 40. Cuddle to parties? Energy. It must work, because white tips also power a nap as a stack. Damn, pack. look Santa at that. Santa are like sea coyotes, where they're fusion. Did you know that sand tiger and gray nurse shark are the same thing? I didn't. Sand tigers and gray nurse. I've never heard of a gray nurse, but damn, that's a big ass shark. They have a close network of sharks they associate with, and even sharks they'll meet up with multiple times a year. Scientists now believe that if a shark has their version of a best friend, it's usually someone that's roughly oh. the same size, the same sex, and about the same age, which would explain Simon and Jekyll. But now the real question is, can sharks form age bonds groups. with people? And the answer, like everything else, it's complicated. Lemon sharks are not only famous for having favorite uh, divers, uh, uh, uh. but for getting jealous and overprotective when they see them. Favorite divers.
Damn. And that diver around others. If a nurse shark is a Labrador, the lemon shark's a golden retriever with gills. Here's my thing. Now, sharks will form partnerships with other fish like remoras and pilot fish where they'll pick parasites off the shark, so this could just be a lemon guppy treating a person like any other cleaning service. Funny thing about pilot fish, sailors who saw them would swear they and sharks would act like close friends. And there's even stories of pilot fish chasing ships for weeks after they caught one of their sharks, apparently seeming distressed Damn. and anxious without them. And That's you probably funny. wouldn't believe that. If something like that didn't happen with a person, in 2001, shark huh? conservationist Jim Abernathy removed a hook from the mouth of a tiger shark named Emma. Okay. Years Emma. And several more hooks. What, what sort of name for a shark is this? Emma? Come on, bro. Later, and Jim and Emma might as well be a married couple, with Emma still recognizing and rushing up to Jim even after up to a year of And we're not talking about nurse or lemon sharks. That's a 14 foot garbage disposal with the personality of a lap dog. She closed her eyes when he kissed her nose. What the fuck? I've never had that from a woman. We don't know for sure if sharks can feel affection like one, but it honestly wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> Since sharks are intelligent enough to be trained like dogs, Eugenie oh. Clark was an ichthyologist nicknamed Shark Lady, who taught lemon shark sharks how lady. to push a target and ring a bell for food, and they even learned how to tell apart different shapes and colors. Some aquariums in the UK train sharks to roll <laughs> over and respond to signals and commands the same way Pavlov conditioned dogs. And grey bamboo sharks also figured out how to tell apart different shapes. Grey bamboo sharks? Bro, how many... There's so many sharks. Even when researchers tried tripping them up with optical illusions. And even after 50 weeks, they still remembered their training. Damn. It really shouldn't be a surprise. Sharks I can't remember what it is last night. Shark can remember what 50 weeks. Damn. Back when Saturn was bumping Beyonce and praying on a ring. Sharks are no dummies. You gotta respect that they might be the biggest flex oh. nature ever made. Sharks Damn. can literally track your heartbeat through electrical reception. They have a built-in GPS. They have replaceable fluoride-coated teeth that I can't get cavities. Some. some like the Greenland shark can live for a legit hundreds of years. Damn. You can find sharks at the very bottom of the ocean, under an active volcano, and even swimming in River Thames. And I honestly don't know what to be more impressed by. Really, the only weakness sharks have is they can be put in a trance-like paralysis just by getting rotated. Wait, what? The tonic immobility is usually triggered by pressing down on the snout, but sharks can induce it in some painfully awkward situations. Humans usually only put sharks on standby to study and tag them. Meanwhile, orcas do it to steal their organs like a black market merchant. But this Bro, orcas! Hey, orcas need to chill, okay? Time, I'm not gonna call God them in a Because we do something way Yo. worse. Shark finning is the practice of- Yeah, we're fucked up. Everybody that watches this knows we're fucked up. Humans are- Cutting off the fins and tossing the now mutilated shark That's back crazy. into the sea. Where their only option is to slowly drown or bleed to death. Wait, Depending on the shark- They don't kill the shark? The shark is alive while they take the fins? Brother! That can take an excruciating two hours. And this is a fate that follows not hundreds, but up to a hundred million sharks a year. All for something what the Gordon Ramsay called with people. Me. At the end of the day, we Wait, what did say about it? a year. All for something Gordon Ramsay called me. What does it taste of? It's really bizarre because it actually tastes of nothing. The broth is really good, but it could have anything in there. Chicken, duck, pork belly, anything. The one item spawn is a shark and the bland thing doesn't deliver. They eat it because the symbol of status. Suck in my one line that the shots have the fins half top before they don't bang to the ocean and say, leave them alone, respect their beauty. At yeah. the end of the day, we gaslit sharks like no It's like somebody chopping off your legs and arms and throwing you. as like a little fucking body. We go around the world has ever seen. We put up Fuck every up world shit. war combined numbers on them every trip around the sun. Meanwhile, sharks might get 10 on a good year. In fact, Damn. you can argue that for all the shark slander, humans have the highest KD ratio oh, against we do. them. No other wild animal gets done this dirty. Moral of the story? You know it's bad when the author of Jaws, Peter Benchley, would go on to regret writing it and dedicate the Damn. rest of his life to shark conservation. It's fiction, yeah, that's though. For this video. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you Yeah, it was fun. Crazy. Crazy. I didn't know there was so many different sharks anyway let me know what y'all think about sharks and the ocean i'll see y'all next time like comment subscribe and have a nice day everybody bye bye